Dear friends, it is Monday, September 14th, and this week in our series on the prophets, the VPC Daily Devotionals, which you can get online, you can get an online written form or an online uh, video format, which we're doing t right now, uh, you, you can get that at vpc.church. We've been looking at the prophets, and this week the uh, Sunday sermon was on Micah, the great... 8th century prophet who prophesied in and around Jerusalem he in the south, southern part of the nation and uh, came from a small town, Morsheth, uh, near Gath. It was out in the hill country, so he was a country guy who was nevertheless called to preach to uh, some of the most elite people in the nation in Jerusalem. So we're going to read you some scriptures today and uh, jump in as we learn about this courageous prophet. Let's listen for God's word to us today. The first verse of Micah says this, the word of the Lord came to Micah of Morsheth in the days of King Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah of Judah, which he saw concerning Samaria and Jerusalem. Most of the uh, of the time he was, uh, was during the time of King Hezekiah, who had a quite a long uh, reign in Jerusalem. We learned something interesting about this prophet in Jeremiah uh, 26, however, because he's referred to and it's, in, it's an interesting setting. Jeremiah has preached due for Jerusalem, and they're thinking of executing him. He's in serious trouble. And some of the elders stand up before this sentence is passed on Jeremiah, and they say, Don't forget about Micah of Morsheth, who prophesied during the days of King Hezekiah of Judah, and said to the people of Judah, Thus says the Lord of hosts, Zion shall be plowed like a field, Jerusalem shall become a heap of ruins, and the mountain of the house, that's the temple, a wooded height. Did King Hezekiah of Judah and all Judah actually put him to death? No, he did not fear the Lord and entreat the favor of the Lord, and did not the Lord change his mind about the disaster he pronounced against them? So they're making the argument that if the king, King Hezekiah, didn't attack uh, this brave prophet Micah for saying that judgment was coming, why should Jeremiah be killed? just because he's saying something that's unpopular. Uh, we know uh, from this saying that Micah had a reputation which followed him uh, down through the days and the years. All of us have reputations. We, have, we leave general impressions. All the little actions and the words and the deeds, the decisions we make, kind of add up in the end to an overall impression that people have of us. Are we enthusiastic or are we placid? You know, are we energetic or maybe not so much so? Are we a person of faith or is it difficult to tell? Overall, we're going to leave an impression, a reputation. I wonder, uh, as we heard about Micah's reputation, what you would like your reputation eventually to be. Let's take a moment and pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for Micah, for his courage to point out things that were wrong in the collective life of the people of Israel and to uh, be a prophet who announced judgment, a very unpopular preacher, no doubt. Uh, Lord, help us to be people who also can say an, uh, an unpopular thing and can be critical of our own lives and uh, when we need to be of the lives of uh, the society around us in order to uh, more accurately reflect your goodness and your mercy. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I will see you tomorrow on Tuesday. Blessings.